Yo, 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 it's me, your man, the Reverend, back once again, like the Renegade Master I am. Uh, it's been however many weeks since my last video is uploaded, uh, but recorded on the same day as another previous video, so I've changed my t-shirt only for the illusion that more interesting stuff and time has passed between recordings that I'm not recording on the same day. A nice uh, wasteland a special t-shirt from Fauna, if, I, if for your, the Reverend t-shirt fans out there, you can check that out. This is another unboxing. Uh, I'm going to press that button there to quieten that down. Uh, this is another unboxing video, uh, but this is more in the kin of something I did a few weeks ago, which was... Can you see it? Can you see what it is? Yeah. So, as, as, as you know, I have explained that I, I do like my books. And I've got a few of them and what I tend to do because I started buying books before well I've already bought books I'm not an idiot uh, but I've been buying books and rather than if you spend less than 25 pound you got to pay for postage or get it delivered to your local store for free my local store is not local so I went for one near my office and then we went into lockdown and now they've got a lot of books of mine but occasionally what I buy is over 25 pounds so I get free postage or I buy more than one thing. I don't remember buying more than one thing. Maybe I bought more than one thing. I just don't know. Uh, so yeah, I uh, picked up this book, which uh, if you saw all my books, all the ones up here, there's like a, a bookcase up here. Uh, apart from Darren Brown, Ben Folds, I think everything else there is a comedy related book, I think. Distraction Pieces by Scroobius Pitt probably isn't. Uh, and You Are an Artist by Bob and Roberta Smith. Uh, Louis Theroux, would you consider that comedy? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I've, got, I've got books. I, I've got books. What are you going to do about it? Uh, they, they say if you go to someone's house for, some, uh, for a romantic evening of fun and uh, they don't have any books... Don't stay there for a romantic evening of fun. Uh, is that dreadfully middle class? I don't know. But uh, the concept behind it is books are good. So, and I, I agree books are good. But yeah, that's enough about uh, things like that. Here we go. So this has come from Waterstones. Uh, I don't usually buy my books from Waterstones. Uh, I use the Big Green Books shop on Twitter. If you know them, if you don't, you should follow them. They are ace. Uh, really cool guy, uh, but uh, and he gets his hands on signed copies of stuff, but occasionally he doesn't. And I always message him, and if he can't get me what I want, then I get it. I have to get it from somewhere else. Waterstones. If you want something, if you want special editions or signed editions or something like that, Amazon's really dreadful for that, and they don't pay their tax. But I can't really say too much about that. Look how much stuff I buy from Amazon. Uh, but yeah, books. Now this, this book. I, I will give you five seconds to guess what this book is. Five seconds. I, I, I'll give you a clue. It is that thick. Uh, four, four, three, two, one. You are not going to have guessed what this book is. Oh, it's, oh. Maybe I could keep opening it. That would probably be slightly easier. Oh, hello. Look at this. Don't know if you might see my address then. Packing, shipping note. Yeah, so this book was expensive. That's why they pushed it for free. Now, here we go. Here is a book for you. Not everyone's cup of tea. I appreciate that. Uh, so there's lots of background about the Reverend that you won't know about, but one of the ones that's very interesting is I read a lot of this stuff. <laughs> Who'd have thought a man called the Reverend? Uh, yeah, and uh, more importantly, I bought it because of her. What happened? Let cast your mind back to. I couldn't even tell you. Could be six years, might be might be seven years. I went to. Is it the Quaker Centre? 
essentially not somewhere in the centre of London. Oh, I've, I've, my memory is shocking, and I'm going to Google this very quickly because it's in, important's the wrong word. Uh, let's have a look. So uh, yeah, this will be very boring for you, I'm sure. Uh, so I went to an event. Let's have a look. This is being advertised as a meetup. This might be it. No, uh, no, it's not that one. Oh, why can I? I'm trying to find uh, I'm trying to find and what's annoying is I know this is like I don't know. let's have a look they email me like regularly but essentially, oh, I bit, oh, I, that's why I should prepare these. Uh, that's why I'm not the famous YouTuber that everyone follows. But yeah, I went to an event and it was uh, interesting for lots of reasons. It had it was a multi faith event with uh, many faiths represented, and uh, it was about uh, more about celebrating what. Uh, celebrating the things where we are similar as opposed to looking at the things where we're different. It was also attended by the humanists. So, uh, yeah, uh, lots of different people there. Really fascinating event. I'm hoping at some point my brain pulls out the bit of information I'm after. One of the people who spoke was uh, Francesca. And, oh, Francesca. I really, I've heard her say her name plenty, and she's be. I mean, I, I, I'm just not going to butcher her surname. Uh, but yes, uh, she uh, did a very interesting and lively talk about uh, the anatomy of God and parts of their anatomies. And it was fascinating because rarely do you, or rarely do I anyway, hear people talking about that stuff but it's a lot of it's documented it's available and she is a if i remember rightly she is an atheist biblical scholar let me just i think if i read the back it might tell you oh staff i think let's have a look yeah, let, let me let me let me read you the inside from this book. Three thousand years ago, in the Southwest Asian islands, we now call Israel and Palestine. Uh, Southwest Asian lands, we now call Israel and Palestine. People verinated a complex pantheon of deities led by a father god called El. El had seventy children who were gods in their own right, some of whom dwelt among the worshippers. One of them was a minor storm deity known as Yahweh. Yahweh had a body, a wife, offspring and colleagues. He fought monsters and mortals. He gorged on food and wine, my type of god, and took walks and naps, my type of god. Uh, but he would become something far larger and far more abstract, the god of the great monotheistic religions. As Professor Francesca Stavrakopoulou reveals, God's cultural DNA stretches back centuries before the Bible was written and persists in the ticks and twitches of our own society, whether we are believers or not. The Bible has shaped our ideas about God and religion, but also our cultural preferences about human existence and experience, our concepts of life and death, our assumptions about sex and gender, our understanding of history, our perception of what it is to be a person. Examining God's body from his head to his hands, feet and genitals, in all his fleshy, unsense and scandalous forms, God and anatomy shows how the Western idea of God developed. She explores the places and artifacts that shape the view of this singular God and the ancient religion society of the biblical world. In doing so, she analyzes not only the origins of our oldest monotheistic religions, but also the origins of Western culture. Arresting, elegant and passionately argued, God and anatomy is a cultural history on a grand scale. Is this one on the back? Ah, here we go. Francesca Stavrakopoulou studied theology at 
Oxford and is currently Professor of Hebrew, Bible and Ancient Religion at the University of Exeter. The author of a number of academic works, she also presented the BBC documentary series Bible's Buried Secrets. She regularly appears on BBC One's Question Time and Sunday Morning Live and appeared on several Radio 4 shows including Women's Hour, The Infinite Monkey Cage, Blonde Belief and Museum of Curiosity. Her contributions to Dan Snow's history hit podcast is among its most popular episodes. Yeah, it's... Uh, so, yeah, this is what I... Uh, this is what I uh, ordered. And uh, as you saw from the front, it is signed. I should pick to that page. Signed by the author. I mean, I've got to work out. Well, let's have a look. First published in 2021. Doesn't say it's republished. I presume that's the, uh, this is the first edition. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Really fascinating stuff, whether you're religious or not. Fascinating stuff. Learning about, uh, learning about uh, kind of some of the ideas and the structure that's there in, as, this, as it's referred to, the monotheistic religions, uh, where they've come from and how they've come about. Uh, it's, as I said, it's really interesting. And I mean, that is a lot of book yeah a lot of book so uh i'm looking forward to that i might treat myself to a kindle copy i'll put details in the link but yeah uh <sighs> quaker's hall i reckon let me just have a look i think that's what it's called quaker's hall London. Let's have a look. If I go down here, I think that might be it. St. Martin's in the field. No, it's not the Westminster Quakers. Uh, let's have a look. I felt it was more Holborn way. Don't think it's friend's house. Up by no, I'll I'll oh dear, I'm annoyed. I can't remember what it's called. Quakers means oh yeah. So anyway, I will. I'm going to Google it and add it to the text. But yeah. A fascinating event, a couple of hours, lots of different speakers, and I uh, really enjoyed it. And when I saw that she was putting another book out, particularly this one, because the whole story is fascinating, the whole story. I had to have it. goes in my collection. It is signed. Don't have to buy pick up signed copies. I've just decided to. Uh, it'll look out of place, so I might have to set up another book shelf of books so that it doesn't feel left out but yeah damn my london small flat with no storage where i can keep nice things but yeah i've got other ones coming if you've got any questions or you want to ask me well don't ask me about this book i haven't read it yet but i think it's a pretty cool looking book and it's a nice book and 25 pound is a lot of money but let's have a look what does it say cost wise has it got a little price in it it will have a price, £25. So there, in theory, I paid what it cost and I've got signed a first edition, so I'm happy to that. Oh, I'm sending some weird-ass texts on my phone at the moment because I didn't hang it up properly. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to set up a separate playlist of signed books. Most of them will probably be comedy ones, but occasionally I'll pick up books that aren't, and if I do, I'll just do a video show them to you because they're pretty cool. I like them. It's a strange thing. It's just nice to have. Uh, well, anyone could assign this. I think it's her signature. I do wonder what a boring job that must be if you're whatever your job is and you write a book, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we need to sign a thousand copies, fifteen hundred copies, two thousand copies." Blah. Well, 
I'm looking at my books, and none of them have none of them I've had signed just for me. Oh no, that's a lie. Mark Thomas. I went. I've seen Mark Thomas live a few times. He always sells merch off. Well, he sells merch after the gigs, and I've bought a couple of books from him, and he signed them. And I've got photos of me with him, so that's pretty cool. I do have that. Uh, I keep meaning to go get Steve McNeil's signed because I see him quite a well. Saw him quite a bit. You're not down, haven't really seen many people. Uh, and there's probably a few others. Probably get Richard Herring's book signed. You get the Box Lady and Bye Bye Balam. That'd be interesting. Uh, and yeah, so there's a few others. I think my Adam Box might be signed, uh, but I don't know. But yeah, anyway, so that's just for me. You, you, you buy books. Tell me what book you're interested in. Leave a comment. If there's a book you recommend or an author, I like comedy. I like autobiographical comedy books. I like technol technology thrillers. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I do like a book. Don't read as much. Too many distractions. He says, staring at his game console collection, which is over that way. Anyway, I'll go now. I've got stuff to do. Catch you later, everybody. Toodle pip. <laughs> so there we have it. Another video by me. Another unboxing. It's a book. Hooray! Here's some other videos. Check them out. I've got videos on unboxing tech. I've got unboxing books. I've got some. I think I've got some food videos. But you should check them out. Uh, you'll always find more videos you could be interested in. Uh, like and subscribe and all that jazz. Or don't. I'm just a voiceover. But yeah, some videos on the screen. Click them.